Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, we of days. Be exalted forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe, tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. They thought they won. They thought they won. Hallelujah. Child of God, they did not win. Let me tell you, somebody laid a course. This is a warfare message. They laid a course and they felt that the course that they have laid, that they have won. That they have won already. Hear me very well. No one can cause whom God has chosen to bless. No one can cause whom God has chosen to win. No man can cause whom God has chosen for his purpose, especially for his kingdom assignment. Hallelujah. No one can cause whom God is interested in to make a blessing that will be that that person that blessing will be a blessing to nation that blessing will that person will be a blessing to those that are even pray for blessings no man can cause such destiny there are some destiny that God has blessed and this destiny the Lord bless this destiny why because he want them to go out there and bless his people he want them to go out there and bless nation he want them to go out there and bless their family. He want them to go out there and bless the church, bless the widow, bless the orphan, bless the homeless, bless the single mother, the single father, the couples that are struggling. He want them to go out there and put smile in their face. When God have chosen somebody to bless and said, I have blessed this man so that you will, you will go and bless that home, that family that is about to lose their home. That man that lost his job that can no longer cater for his wife and children, go and bless him. No man can call such person. Why? Because there is a divine mandate upon the life of that person. Hallelujah. Why? Because there is a divine mandate upon the life of that person. To hear me, child of God, they curse you, but the cause ended in blessing. Why? Because there is a divine mandate upon you. There is a divine mandate upon you for you to be a blessing to others. So when God have interest in the life of a man to make him or her a blessing to nation, no matter the cost that the enemy will release, it cannot stop that blessing. They celebrated too early, thinking that everything they, 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 they have said was seal and sign. They thought that they won. Child of God, hear me. They did not win. They did not win. No man can place a curse upon your life when God's mandate is upon you and the curse will prevail. No. No man can place a curse upon your journey when, the, when God's mandate is upon you. No. It is called divine assignment. Something that is unique. Something that God himself has signed. No man can unsign what God has signed already. There is no power that can cancel the signature of God. No matter how heavy their cause is, the signature of God cover every other causes. Child of God, the mandate of God upon on you, upon your life, it is be, it will be fulfilled. The cause cannot stand. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you, and I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.